been to Savannah, Georgia? Okay, I see some hands out there. We just got back from our vacation in Savannah. It was recommended to us by so many friends. You have to go. You have to. It's a great place. It's a walkable city. The history is phenomenal, and the architecture. So we never been. So we thought, okay, we'll go. I was so excited. I spent hours, hours every day online. I went to Kayak. I went to Expedia. I went to so many websites. I can't remember all of them. I tried to find out every little thing about Savannah. Where to eat, where to drink, where to dance, and how to just soak up the city. So when we got there, I had it all under control. <laughs> I got to plan. I love planning. We left early Thursday morning for the road trip. Eight hours later, we were in Savannah looking for a place to park. So all those streets pretty much are one way. So if you miss, you either have to back up. Not, not really a good thing to do. Or just keep circling. So we reach the corner, we see the hotel. There's no place to park. So he says, Rita, jump out, jump out. You go in and da-da-da. Okay, so he parked, he stopped the car, and I went like this, and I went, oh no, I, I didn't jump. I dragged myself out of the car. My back was so stiff. I go in, he's circling, and I go to the desk. And, Hi, we went to Magno here, blah, blah, blah. The girl says, okay. I fill out the paper, and I said, do you have a bell cap? No, sorry. I'm like, I, I checked this hotel out. They were supposed to have all this stuff. I said, okay. She said, but we do have cars. So in the meanwhile, here comes Richie walking in. And where's parking? Oh, you've got to go around the block and make a right, and then first left. He's all worried. He's illegally parked. You know he does not like do anything illegal. <laughs> so he goes out and parks the car. I grab the, the car. Did you ever notice none of those wheels are synced? <laughs> Not one of them. It's like when you go to Publix and the, the wagon you grab is a bad wagon. You know it. You know it before you even take a foot of it. So out the door, he's parked. The whole street between the hotel and the parking area is inaccessible. Georgia Power and Light picked that street to load up these two big white trailer vans, whatever, with the caps and the men. So here we go with this stupid thing that won't go the right direction. <laughs> and we get to the car. It's hot. It's hot and it's humid. Worse than, worse than Sarasota. For what reason? I don't know. Get to the car. Open everything up. Well, I overpacked. Who is on? Me? You can never have too many clothes. Not enough is bad. So we load up the thing, hangers. Now, we have to get back to the hotel, so back through the trucks and the median and the lines that they have, the cables, up the concrete, okay, we're back in, get the elevator, second floor, yes, we're almost there. Get in, unpack, tripping over each other and the, the cart, finally good. I was like, okay, I'm waiting, I've been waiting for this since quarter to eight this morning, a glass of wine. He packed water, I packed wine. <laughs> Had that, great, let's go. Get the maps, get the list, and we're gonna do the trek. So walking, walking. Several times I tripped. They're cobblestones. They're not even, you know, they got dips and twists. <clears throat> so I decided I have to spend my time watching my feet. I found 12 cents. <laughs> it's supposed to be a walkable, pedestrian friendly city. <coughs> the streets that do have traffic lights, they only operate on these poles that are 10 feet this way, away from the crosswalk. So you push the thing, and you hurry back up to the crosswalk, and you get 
wait, wait, wait. And you're looking at each other like, is the little man in there? Now the, the light turns green. You have 10 seconds. You have nine seconds. You have eight, seven, six seconds to get you across the street. Well, it's gonna be a red light and oh well. What's one less visitor to Savannah? <laughs> there were tours. We took the trolley tour and you know, they all have the same shtick. You can hear it after you've taken yours. Everybody's the same. Telling you about the buildings and the freaks of the feats of the buildings with fishes on them and get off. And it's like, wow. Now look at all these horse-drawn carriages. There must have been a fleet of 2,000. At least. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I realized, as we're walking, the, the heat and the humidity that was like horrible, horrible, horrible. I figured out the difference. Heat, humidity, and horse drop. <laughs> 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 <laughs>